Yo everyone, so we've got another image sent in, one from your passport, so we're going to be trying to recreate the edit of the image, so we're working with one of these down here, and uh, we way down this one here, trying to recreate the exact edit, so as you can see, they've obviously got a really warm tropical look, tropical warm grade, so there's warm shadows, there's a lot of teals, there's a lot of oranges, there's a real flatness to the images and a bit of clarity in there as well. So not many shadows giving off those real warm, vibrant looks. So let's get into Lightroom. You guys can go give them a follow down in the description. I'll put all the links down there. Really awesome content, obviously. So go check them out. Let's get into Lightroom. Here's the raw image and here's the edited one from their Instagram. So I'm just going to chuck up the contrast there. I'm going to really bring up the shadows because that's what really, really helps give a nice, bright, vibrant looking image. A warmer looking image. I'm going to take down the blacks. I'm going to put a lot. I'm going to bring it down a lot because I'm going to put in a really strong fade here over in the blacks. As you can see there but we need extra dark blacks because otherwise it brightens up the image a bit when you add in that fade so making it a bit more darker up here than i need to be and there's highlights um And we'll put in quite a bit of clarity and that just adds a real crispness to the image. Drop the vibrance, drop the set. And then we'll add in the saturation. Um, so we want colors like the oranges to pop way more. Yellows. Um, right. We want to... Greens maybe down. But we'll do the fade now before we get more into the colors. And we want to, yeah, like I said before, add in a really strong fade. So I'll do that now. Okay, so that's the curve. Just bring up those shadows a bit. And yeah, definitely bringing up those blacks quite a bit. And then keeping the mid-tones about the same. Not bringing them up too much. Not bringing up the highlights too much because I want to keep a little bit of flatness to the look. So we'll just go split toning. And we want to add in like golden tones. So we're going to do that to the highlights. about there and then quite often you want to add in the opposite color into the shadows just to keep keep a bit of contrast with the colors otherwise it can look uh, just too warm you need to balance it out so the opposite to the warm tones is the cool tones and right now we can We'll bring out the sky now before we do much else. So, go and grab a filter. Okay, I've got this all reset now. And I just want to bring out the detail of the clouds. So, I always go to dehaze for this. And then dehaze always adds in quite a bit of saturation. So, we'll drop that and then we will add in just some cool tones up there and then we'll have to change the color of the blues later in the HSL but you can tell that I've done this over in their image as you can see, the the bushes here get very, very desaturated. 
So if we deleted this, if I show you before, see how we keep all the greens here. And then we add this in. It's a lot like the image now. Okay. I think let's just chuck in some grain. Alright, let's try to finish off with HSL. Uh, our tones are all pretty good. The blues definitely need shifting. So they're two of a darker blue. We need a lighter blue. But then it's kind of tricky to figure out whether it's the aquas or the blues. But as you can see, the aquas are only affecting the water. And the blues are affecting the sky and the water so what i'm going to do to figure it figure out what what should be at what is i'm just going to match up the blues to what the sky is because then i know that is correct and then i'm going to go off what adjusting needs doing in the water for the aqua it's about there and then desaturated Uh, we might roll with that for now. Uh, aquas. So our water, I think, um, we'll chuck up saturation. And I think we could go I'm gonna brighten the blues actually as well let's go about there do that with the aqua as well and then we obviously I'll just do it right now do the yellows so the yellows affect the edges of everything especially if there's trees there's going to be a lot of yellows on the edges of those and of people's hair and skin so gives a real pop adds a lot more of a warmer feeling to your images so that's always a good one to do uh, we'll just keep well an obvious one is these greens are too green we want more of a yellow to our greens And then starts to get tricky um, so we've got some yellow tones it's a bit yellow we want more of an orange but more of a gold so let's shift the yellows over towards a red and then back to the aqua so our water looks a little too blue we've got our sky right i'm happy with the sky so let's shift some aquas towards the greens and get a bit more of a green tint to the water i think that's more like theirs um Everything looks pretty good otherwise. Saturation. Yellows can come down. Let's brighten. So let's brighten these oranges. You can see. It's a little brighter back there in the buildings, uh, the skin, and this, the uh, stone wall across here. So we'll bring up the luminance. And 
and I think the greens could be deeper. So let's drop the greens. And what have we got? Grain, no vignetting, nothing else. Think we're good. So don't pay too much attention to the sharpness. This is a screenshot of Instagram, so it's going to be lacking some crispness, crispness and sharpness to the image. So just pay real attention to the colors mainly. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We're maybe looking touch too green in the water maybe in the blues maybe Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there, guys. Uh, you guys, definitely go give them a follow down in the description. Their links will be down there for you guys. Uh, they got really awesome content, so make sure you go check them out. And, yeah, if you guys like these tutorials, check out the presets. All my favorite presets in this one pack that just has tons of value for you guys. And, yeah, comment who you guys want to see. Comment people that have great images but don't have that many followers that way they will send in the image to me and we can do a tutorial on them so comment them down below that really helps and leave a like leave a comment love to hear your uh, feedback and catch you in the next one cheers